ectopic pregnancy is a condition when the fetus is implanted outside the uterine cavity maybe in the tubes fallopian tubes maybe in the ovaries maybe abdominal maybe cervical any place it can be or it can be a heterotopic pregnancy means one fetus is in the womb and maybe two fetuses in the womb and other fetuses are outside the womb outside the uterus so this has to be addressed urgently immediately and it is an emergency condition it is usually diagnosed in some ways like we do a monitoring of the beta hcg every 72 hours and if it is rising 2.5 times more or more than that then it is either multiple pregnancy or a normal pregnancy but if it is rising less than 2.5 times then there are chances of the patient having an ectopic pregnancy that is the reason we keep on repeating the test whether many times it's a biochemical pregnancy also the patient also gets irritated many times but we can't leave the patient like that when we have done an IVF cycle secondly we get a scan done very early ultrasound done very early to rule out the sacs where are all the gestational sacs that ultrasound is basically not done for cardiac activity it is just done for the sac so these are some of the tools by which we can rule out an ectopic or a heterotopic pregnancy coming to the like what are the how the patient is going to present so the patient is going to present with acute abdominal pain maybe in many cases when they have a chronic ectopic they also have episodes of loose motions or they have intermittent spotting per vagina intermittent bleeding per vagina many times the patient complains of acute giddiness because if the ectopic has ruptured inside then the patient will have acute giddiness a uh, bout of hypotension and so these are some of the signs and symptoms for ectopic pregnancy and you should address it as soon as possible because if you address it at an early stage a medical intervention can be done but obviously if it if it comes at a late stage many times the patient has to go to the icu also because if the ectopic ruptures then you, you have acute blood loss and that blood loss leads you to having taking a resuscitative measures resuscitative techniques of the medical team so it's better to address it as soon as possible and get all these tests done and uh, visit your doctor as soon as possible